Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I am building a cabin here in Colorado and I am recording it for you and me so I can get some history of how, what, what was done, what happened, and all the steps of building a cabin. Now feel free, at the end of this video I will have a playlist that shows everything from the beginning to everything from the end when I get my CO, my certificate of occupancy. So the stage that we're at right now is the foundation stage. I just had my footings poured, which are right down there, and they've been inspected and passed. And now we're at the stage where we're putting in the foundation walls. So if you're not familiar with this, some of you might be very familiar with this, but I am just kind of giving a very high level of what we're doing here. And sorry, I just stepped on a board and the camera just moved. It's all good, it's all good. Okay, so you'll have a board here and they spray something on it um, so that the concrete doesn't stick to it. It really smells really bad in here. It smells like oil a bit. Um, and then they have another board on the other side and then they put rebar in between. And then um, we'll have a cement truck come here and pour inside and make my walls. So what I'm standing in currently right now is my crawl space of my cabin. I do not have a basement to my cabin. I did that um, and I talk about it in other videos too, but I did that to save on cost as I am paying for this cabin all on my own. And um, at some point you just gotta draw a line. And I drew a line and didn't have a basement. I didn't wanna heat it and I didn't want to maintain a basement. So this is my crawl space. And about four feet up on the wall, uh, let's see, right here. So about, about four feet up, it's gonna stop. Uh, let's see, that last rebar, that's where the pour is gonna end up stopping, is right about there. And then I'll have some eye joists, so then we'll bring it up to about there. And we will have, um, then we'll have our, our, our subfloor. So that's where my floor is. Sorry, I lost the words. <laughs> so we'll have my subfloor there. So my house is actually gonna stand about right there. When you're standing up in the house, it's gonna be about right there. But I'll have this extra crawl space here for myself or if I when I hire some um, uh, contractors to be able to come in here and pull wires and whatever else that I, that I might need. So I do welcome you to look at the layout of the house because then it will make a bit more sense um, on the layout. You can check out that final layout and I do give you um, the number so you wanna just fast forward right to the end and you can see the actual final layout and um, that will make everything make more sense to you or you could just keep watching and just kind of guess where things are. <laughs> Anyways, this is gonna be my bedroom right here. If you're not familiar with my property, I'm actually on a pretty good slope. So you can kind of see it over here. Here's the slope. Um, you'll see in earlier videos too that we cut, it's like a wall. My daughter thought I was gonna be building a pool. It's a huge wall. It's like a 10 foot wall that we had to cut into my, my little mountain here. And so I have this nice retaining wall over here. Um, I have to have that, that is part of code. Um, and regarding code, I do get asked, and I'll probably say this again in the future, I do get asked, you know, why don't you just build this cabin on your own? And uh, why don't you follow this guy that's in, I'm trying not to say his channel, but <laughs> this guy that's in Canada that built the cabin on his own, or this girl that's in Wisconsin and um, Alaska and built like they did their cabin. I'm in a totally different area, you guys, and there is a lot of rules here. I have to get permits for everything. Um, this part actually I have hired out. I am not doing this part on my own. Uh, most of the stuff that requires a permit or a license to do, I am hiring that out. So this, this part has been hired out. Um, so I'm relying on the people that are doing this, which I have met them this weekend. Really, really nice guys. Um, they told me they drive an hour and 20 minutes to work on my house, but they said it's a really pretty area. So uh, they said they don't mind it, but they're like, it's a long drive to get here. When I say I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'm in the middle of nowhere, you know. Um, so anyways, I just want to let you know there are th inspections that need to happen. So what's happening this week is they're going to finish the wall. So they have on some areas like this area right here, they only have one wall. They got to bring in the other wall here. And so then once they have the two walls, um, then they'll end up pouring concrete. 
So the, the inspection happens after they put in all the rebar. So they're gonna put a, a wall and a wall and the rebar through, and then we'll have an inspection from the county, and then they'll come here with the truck to pour the concrete. I like standing in this area because it's, it's very unique to the cabin rather than just a square, so you kind of know where I am. Um, again, if you look at the plans, you'll see that there's actually a bay window that goes here. And um, up, uh, it's actually up, um, four feet up. About four feet, it's going to be somewhere about here would be um, what I'm thinking is um, four feet. Um, uh, we will have a floor. But some of you might ask, like, oh, how's your bay window going to work? You're going to look right into concrete? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, in fact, and I think I might have explained this in another video, is that my, the concrete's going to go right up to the window, and then I will have a pretty, pretty thick, um, what do you call that? It's not a mantle, windowsill. I'll have a pretty thick windowsill, um, which does encroach a bit on my, my whole idea of having a, um, a twin bed here, because this is my idea, is I'm going to be able to sleep here, and I'll be up there and I'll be able, I'll have windows all around me and I'll have my bed there. It'll just be a little twin bed that I can just sleep on um, because you could, I can sleep anywhere in the cabin. I don't always have to sleep in my room. I can sleep wherever I want, <laughs> you know. Um, you'll see that it tears down and then tears down. Um, over here again is the bay window. I'll have like a little side table and then I'll have a little couch. I think it's like a two-seater couch or something like that. We'll know that later. Um, but I will have a window right here too. So the cement most likely, because this is something that's new to me as well, I thought they were gonna bring this down, um, but the cement will end up going probably up to that window well too. So again, I'll have a wider window well, which I don't think is a big deal because I can also put some plants on it and everything like that. Um, um, I've, I've showed, if you see the last video, last cabin video, again, it's going to be on my playlist. If you see the last one, you'll see when they first started this and I had some questions and I've met the builder and stuff. And now every time I come out here, I have more questions for the builder. And so I'm going to show you what my question is for the builder. Now I'm again in the middle of nowhere. I have no cell coverage. I might be able to, um, text him or something like that, but, um, I, I'm going to show you what my question is because I have a concern right now. Again, if you've been watching, you've been knowing um, a lot about my crawl space because I'm talking about it a lot. And, and I'm sure once the crawl space is done, I probably won't talk about it as much. But uh, we'll be moving up and we'll be talking about what's going on in the rest of the house. But this is what my concern is um, that they did. And I was here, but I guess I just, I, I don't know. The guys were working and... and um, and, and I'm not taking any offense, but only one of the guys spoke English, you know, and my Spanish is not very good. Like, um, muy poquito, is that right? Little, little Spanish? I don't know. Um, anyways, <laughs> I am going to have a door here. If you watched the last video, I'm going to have a door to be able to access my crawl space. And I'm assuming this is my door. And I'm concerned because you see the size of this door. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a four foot door. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, Cause why did they cut it here? So one of the questions I have to the builder is going to be what, what's this? <laughs> I plan on just so you know, and according to the County, I cannot store anything in my crawl space, but you guys look at all this space down here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and if you've been watching again, you know that my gear room has now turned into a utility closet, which is about the size of this. So after you put a, a water heater here, you put a furnace here and you put my electrical panel here, I don't have a lot of spots to put my gear. So I was planning on having my gear down here. Um, but am I going to have to, am I going to have to squeeze my gear through this little tiny square? That's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know my backpack fits through that, you know, like, um, I have a kayak that I need down here, paddleboard. Um, I, you know, you guys know I got like 10 tents. I got multiple backpacks. I have, I have a lot of gear. I'm an outdoor girl and that's what, that's where, um, I'm going to be bringing stuff in. So I have a lot of questions about this area right here that I will be asking the builder and we will find out in future videos. Now, 
I am told by the guy that's working on this that they're going to pour the concrete on probably um, Friday. Today's Monday and they're going to pour this on Friday. So I'm kind of, I'm a little nervous. I'm like, I got to get to that builder right away um, and uh, get this question answered because that's, that's way too small for me. Okay, so that's all I want to talk about the the um, foundation. Um, stay, stay tuned. I do want to talk about the driveway, so I'm not leaving you yet. Um, stay tuned for um, what's going on with this door because that, that's something I don't know. So you'll see it in a, you'll probably see it in the next video because next time I'll be out here, this will be poured. All right, this is the only way in which you can get in and out of my house right now is this ladder. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, hey, my uh, my guy's here. Let's talk to him. Uh, so the guys are here now, and I just wanted to. I'll show you the driveway later. I don't want to film while they're around. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, but uh, yeah. They said the door, because I confirmed on the door, I asked them. Now again, they're, they speak very little English, so it's me speaking some Spanish and them speaking some English, and we're trying to figure it out. But basically what I got was, it's three feet by three feet. Yeah, that's a really small door. That's a really small door. I'm like, how am I going to do that? That's a really small door. <laughs> I asked them if they can make the door bigger, and they said no. Um, but anyways, I'm going to let these guys work. But I just wanted to to give you kind of an update after just talking to them. Um, if the weather's not too bad, we are expecting some really bad weather today. If the weather's not too bad, I will come back on this video and show you what I'm thinking about for the driveway. And if, if not, then I'll just say goodbye right now, and um, I'll do it in a, in a future video.